Welcome to the Henry Seeley Institute of Forensic Science located on the campus of the University of New Haven. The Institute was founded in 1991 by world-renowned forensic scientist Dr. Henry Lee. The mission of the Institute is to provide education, training, research, and case consultation to the community and law enforcement. I'm Jennifer and I will be taking you through the Institute today and showing you a little of what we have to offer. The main lobby is home to the Pompeii Family Learning Center. The lobby area reflects many of the achievements of Dr. Lee during his 50-year career. A selected few of the honors given to Dr. Lee are shown here on the award wall, which represents his contributions to the world of forensic science. Many of the cases that Dr. Lee and other colleagues have been involved in are shown throughout the Learning Center. Some of the cases are highlighted in the numerous news clippings from around the world, in our case kiosk, and in a small theater where you can view short video clips of forensic reconstruction. Here in the Learning Center, you will see several interactive exhibits which students and visitors can explore to view various areas of forensic science, such as fingerprint examination, firearms, DNA, and crime scene reconstruction. The most common weapon used in committing a crime is a firearm. Guns are the weapon of choice in 73% of homicides in the United States. This station provides information on the identification and comparison of bullets and cartridge cases. This table is set up as a touch learning center, which students and visitors can choose various areas of forensic science and learn more about it. When a forensic scientist conducts a reconstruction, he or she utilizes various information from the analysis of physical evidence, crime scene documentation, and other information to determine the sequence of events or to answer specific questions related to an incident. This scene follows the reconstruction of an attempted assassination. Recognizing evidence is key to solving a crime. We can use the chemical nature of the evidence itself or treat the evidence so that it becomes visible under light of varying wavelengths. By varying the wavelength of light and the color of the filter through which the sample is viewed, evidence that is barely visible will be seen in greater detail. Using state-of-the-art animation technology, the Learning Center has produced video demonstrations similar to video games, which allows a visitor to choose a scenario and to perform a method of analysis. At another interactive screen, you can identify fingerprint patterns, compare these to known suspects, and explore various methods of enhancing these fingerprints. The Learning Center has constructed a virtual laboratory which can be seen through this glass. The virtual lab allows us to provide background of various laboratory technologies, provide analytical demonstrations, as well as providing an interactive area for students. The Learning Center also has a virtual crime scene study room, which projects images in three directions. Any crime scene can be recreated, and this places the student or the investigator in the room with patterns and evidence that can be analyzed as if it were the original scene. A highlight of the Learning Center is the large screen theater which is currently displaying excerpts of Dr. Lee's Trace Evidence series. The theater was constructed as a learning area for advanced studies. Students, police detectives, investigators, and researchers can view crime scenes, training modules, and explore a topic in depth in a small group setting. Touchscreen capability provides individualization for video excerpts and training modules. The Institute also features crime scene rooms for training and hands-on scene and evidence processing. As you can see, this area is set up for students and professionals to have a room that mimics a crime scene. The proper recognition, documentation, and collection of evidence is stressed so that tests can be performed and interpretations can be done correctly. Here is Professor Timothy Pombach, Chair of the Forensic Science Department and Executive Director of the Henry Lee Institute who is conducting training exercises. Hands-on training is the best mechanism to teach students how to deal with the problems they're going to encounter in a crime scene from collecting to preserving the evidence. What we also emphasize is the use of uh, modern technology and newest methods and we have the advantage of being able to give students actual case scenarios to work on. We will now be going to another operational area of the Institute we call the Command Center. As we walk up the staircase, you'll notice the wall of famous cases. These posters depict cases in which Dr. Lee and his colleagues were involved and show some of the forensic disciplines involved in those cases.
The Institute houses three classroom areas. This lecture hall seats 100 people and is equipped with the latest smart classroom technology. In addition to undergraduate and graduate courses, the Institute also hosts international conferences, seminars, and lectures here. The Henry Lee Institute and the University of New Haven has received several federal grants for a National Crime Scene Training Center and Cold Case Center and to provide a high technology forensic crisis and investigation center. We call this our command center. The command center has the capability for teleconferencing both nationally and internationally. This is crucial because this provides real-time feedback from and to an incident crime scene, computer access to various databases, and satellite access to information and personnel. In addition, we have large touchscreen technology which provides for the evaluation of photographs and evidence in detail. As you can see, Dr. Lee is in a case meeting now. This is a command center which used for um, the emergency uh, situation command um, uh, meeting. Also, we can uh, link to other police departments around the world. We can do a case consultation, helping them. Uh, this is connected with the cold case center too. So they can transfer the image from a remote site to the center. So we can look at it, try to reconstruct the ballistic trajectory through a uh, computer reenact the situation, or maybe a uh, individual's hand from this hand, we can look at this blood stain, the pattern, also look at that, uh, any defense wound or any injury. Of course, obviously, the fingernail is important, so we can give them instruction how to collect those evidence, how to analyze those evidence. And uh, of course, this, uh, if the remote side transmit the image of a fingerprint, then we can linked to downstairs with high-tech center or FS system. If it's a shoe print, we have sidecar. If it's a bullet, we look at the IBIS. Today, forensic investigation utilizes advanced technology for acquisition of information, data evaluation, and evidence analysis. This room has been set up as an advanced technology center, which is comprised of video digital enhancement, ground penetrating radar, an automated fingerprint identification system, 3D scanning equipment, and portable spectrometers that can be used by students, researchers, and investigators in their analysis. We are also equipped with a 3D bullet imaging analysis system called IBIS Brass Tracks 3D, which was launched in 2006 by Forensic Technology. This is the first and only 3D cartridge case image station. The addition of Brass Tracks 3D offers the only truly integrated ballistics identification system in the world for both fired bullets and cartridge cases. Comparisons and interrelations among evidence and known cartridge cases in the database can be made using various markings on the cartridge cases, such as breech marks and ejector marks. Even the firing pin can be imaged in 3D to compare shape and minute markings in this area. Recent studies have indicated that three-dimensional imaging is a must-have for better firearms identification. IBIS Brass Tracks 3D technology takes it one step further by combining both 3D and 2D images to help you see more, know more, and link more. The use of databases of known samples for comparison to physical evidence is growing. The footwear database, known as SICAR, provides an extensive group of more than 25,000 known shoe print records that can be compared to evidence samples from a crime scene. The examiner notes characteristics of the imprint according to a manufacturer determined key code. Once key characteristics are noted, a search is carried out. In a matter of seconds, potential candidates are provided from the database. The examiner then sorts through the candidates to determine potential manufacturer and model that produce the imprint from the scene. This provides investigative leads for the detectives when questioning suspects and linking cases. The system also has a tire tread print database containing thousands of known tire imprints that can be searched against scene evidence. Thank you for visiting the Henry Seeley Institute of Forensic Science. 
We hope you take the opportunity to visit us in person, participate in training, and continue to support the work of Dr. Henry Lee and the Institute.